Welcome back to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to be doing today, we are going to continue testing the FC1002, the Sony RX10 IV. And the test today is going to just strictly involve the onboard mics. How well do they pick yeah. up? And I'm exactly five feet away from the cameras in my room here. And how do I know I'm five feet away? Because I measured it. And this is not my original idea. I did some other tests. And one of, my, one of the viewers of one of those other tests, let me make sure I get his name right, Chris the Dude Nurse suggested, why not just check out the building the microphones, see how well they do. I said, hey, that's a good idea. And like I said before, I'm all open for good ideas. If you have a good idea and it's something I can't actually do, I can do it. And I hope, I'm glad he wrote me back today because today this camera has, you know, I'm renting the RX10, you know, for, I'm, I'm, I has to be back to, uh, Actually tonight, so once I do this test, I'm gonna pack it up and send it back. So what do you think? As always, I'm gonna put down in the description but actually on the video which camera is the FC1002 and which camera is the RX10. And then I'm gonna play them, I'm gonna let you decide how each one sounds, good, bad, or indifferent. Now I know Normally, if you was on the street, you might be a little bit closer. You wouldn't be, you know, like five feet away, uh, four to five feet away from the camera. But normally, I don't do like a vlog type style. I don't do a lot of walking and talking with me on camera. So a lot of times when you see me on camera, I have a, my camera set up. I'm using a wireless mic. And I'm norm normally, you know, four or five, six, I might be even more feet away. Because I like to shoot, and then instead of shooting my standards wide open, you know, I mean, not wide open, but at 35 or 24 millimeters, I like to do 50 on up. I'm currently shooting these, this, this one right now, at 85, as close as I can get to 85 millimeters on each camera. But you know, cameras have electronic zoom, so getting it down in exactly on 85 millimeters, sometimes it can be difficult, just like trying to get it at 100 millimeters. You can, but on the lens, it might, lens borrow might say 100 millimeters, and you look in the viewfinder, the viewfinder might say 101. 104, 105. And the reason I'm saying all this so you can make sure you have plenty of video that you can test and listen to to see how it picks up. And also I have a the extra light in the room instead of the light in the still on the roof is the, the, the YN216 and sometimes when it gets hot, been on for a while, the fan is still running. I can hear the fan where I'm at and the light is probably exactly maybe three to four feet away from the cameras. So we're gonna see, does it pick me up directly straight ahead over the, over the light that's on the side? That's just something else to think about, you know, if you have to you know, interview someone where you have to place your light. Yes, I can hear it, because I'm in tune to it, but if you was actually, actually interviewing someone, the light probably would be farther back anyway. You know, it'd actually be probably right behind your camera on the side of the camera, so you wouldn't hear it. Plus, if they weren't a live mic, they would never pick it up anyway. And like I said, this is a test that the viewer, Chris the Nurse, no, make sure I get his name right, at least this time, Chris the Dude Nurse suggested. Chris the Dude Nurse suggested. Hey, I thought it was a pretty good idea, so that's why I'm doing this. As always, you know, I'm going to let you pick out the one you think sounds the best. Leave your comments below. And of course, while you're down, as always, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. And if you like, and if you like it, leave a thumbs up because that motivates me to go out and do more videos. If you don't like it, that's fine. Leave a thumbs down because the same thing. That also motivate me to go out and do more videos. Because like I said it, and I said continue to say it. The more you learn about time, the more you learn you didn't know. If you have some ideas you'd like me to try, you know that I can do, you know, with my camera because the cameras I have, I have the FC one thousand two. I have the I have a shoot with Olympus. I, shoot with, I still, I still have, have the older Fuji HS50, but it's very sharp. And my video camera like, is, my, is the Sony EA50. So if you have anything you want me to try with those cameras, or you want me to maybe rent some more cameras and try them out against the LC1002, I'll be happy to do it. And also, the one thing I have found out, I have found out all these tests, yeah, we have, all, we, have, we have heard all the hype. About how sharp the Sony the Sony lens is on the RX10. That is true. It's a very sharp lens, and I will admit it is sharper, a little bit sharper than my FC1002. 
And again, it's more than double the price. So yes, I know sharpness is everything, but if you're really not comparing the two cameras, and I'll show you a, a picture from the FC1002, you'll be amazed at the sharpness. As, just like if I show you one from the RX-10 4, you'll be amazed from the sharpness. Only if you put them together can you see the difference. But most of us are not out shooting with two different kind of cameras. But yes, I will have to admit, on that feature, the lens is a little bit sharper. But then again, it's more than twice the price, so I'll, make you, I'll let you make that call. And I will see that one. Well, oh, almost got, almost got two. You almost finished too quick. I always want to thank you for coming along with me on these photographic journeys. And I will see you next time.